Hi, I'm Andrew Scaglioni. Welcome to Radio Cloud. This video is going to serve as a broad introduction to our software and smart features. Radio Cloud is the industry's first 100% native cloud-based radio automation, content management, and production platform. Now, I say native cloud because we're running everything using a software as a service model rather than dockers or containers, which provide a more lift and shift approach. So with Radio Cloud, you get a completely browser-based interface, unlimited storage, cloud backups every five minutes, automatic updates, and total redundancy. And while all the heavy lifting is done in the cloud, we do employ one small piece of hardware at your station or transmitter site. We call it an edge gateway. Radio Cloud sends a signal to this simple playout box, which then pushes it out over the air. It also stores content forward up to two weeks. So even if your internet goes down, your station stays on air. So now that you understand a little more about what makes Radio Cloud stand alone in the industry, we'll give you an overview of the main features our platform offers, including looking at the playlists, how to build and edit station clocks, and the web-based voice tracking module. First, the page you'll live on most of the time is the local playlist interface. And what you can do at the top right of the page with one click is access any day of the week. And with one click on the top left, you can access any of the 24 hours on the playlist. Focusing on the playlist itself, any purple elements are your imaging, jingles, legal IDs, and promos. Green elements are music and songs, while red and brown elements are network and local content and voice tracks. Every song also gives you the ability to track different metrics, including social media. So if we scroll down to this Brian Adams song and click on the Twitter icon, it's going to pull up Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Wikipedia feeds to give you a quick overview of who the artist or group is, and then any recent content, interviews, tours, or new music releases. The next icon is this Spotify metrics icon, and that will allow you to see with one glance how upbeat or mellow a song is. Another really cool feature is this blue share icon, and that allows you to share a great talk break, a piece of imaging, or even a creative promo either to social media, Facebook and Twitter, via email or WhatsApp to your colleagues. So that enables you to share creative content across all platforms. You can also localize your station using time and temperature checks. And in this case, this station has localized using both a time check after a local news report and then a weather check using this weather.gov API after their local weather report. Now, with all that in mind, it's time to show you how the playlist is actually generated, and that's using this broadcast clock module at the top of the page. So what this is going to do is pull up the broadcast clocks, the ability to see all your current clocks, and the ability to create new ones. How you do that is by clicking this new button in the top right corner. Now you can build as many clocks as you'd like for different days and day parts and make them as simple or complex as you'd like. So to start, all you do once you get to this broadcast clock editor interface is drag and drop. We made the interface as simple as possible. All your elements are on the left, your clock or what's soon to be your clock is in the center. Say you wanna start off with a jingle, drag and drop followed up by a couple of songs. There's number one, and there's number two. Then you wanna throw in a little voice track. You can do that, followed by some local content, another song, a piece of imaging, and then maybe you get to your first commercial break. So that's just an example of how simple or complicated you can make the clock, but the process itself is simple, and that's the important thing to note, drag and drop, for everything to build out your station clocks. Not only is Radio Cloud the first 100% native cloud-based automation platform, but we also reinvented the way networking is done in radio. Case in point, the localization of a network clock for many local affiliates. For example, this clock right here is actually going out nationwide to six affiliates currently, 
but each of those stations gets its own localizers, custom length stop sets, and commercial breaks. So if we click this localized button, you can see there's six variations on this one network clock that makes each of these local affiliates stand out and actually makes each national network or show sound like the host or hosts are local and sitting in your studio. Another element that makes Radio Cloud so agile is our web-based voice tracking module, which you can access by going back to your local playlists, finding a voice track placeholder, and clicking this little microphone icon. What that's going to do is pull up you, the voice tracking module, which you can then access from anywhere on any device at any time. Just plug in your microphone and start recording. It's that easy. We even give you the option to hear the outro of the previous song and the intro of the upcoming song just to enhance that experience of recording your track. But rest assured, everything is mixed and timed out perfectly on the ramp. So as you can see, I'm going to start recording right here. You'll see the waveform appear right here. If I were to start the intro of the upcoming song, it would count down right here. And once I'm happy with my track, I can stop recording. The levels will stop bouncing. And then we have the track that appears right here. So once you're done, you set your in points, your out points, you hit save. What it's going to do is upload to the cloud, and then you'll be able to listen to the final results over on the left side and continue to produce talk breaks using this section, which gives you a calendar, 24 hours of the day, and then all the content that needs to be produced for that specific hour. Lastly, if you go back to the playlist, what you see is a little small gray box that appears with some tiny text in it, and what that is is speech to text. We transcribe all voice tracks. Ultimately, this is to help build up an archive of talk breaks so that in the future, you'll be able to reuse those evergreen voice tracks and save time to focus on creating other content, producing commercials, handling promotions, or any of the other many hats you're likely wearing at your radio station. We like to say that Radio Cloud is just smart, simple, mobile, agile radio technology. It's a platform built to streamline and improve the day-to-day -day operation of your radio show, station, cluster, or network. And we've just scratched the surface of what we believe to be the future of the industry. For more video content, tips, and tricks of how to get the most out of our platform, head to our website, radio.cloud, and our social media pages. Thanks for tuning in.